Hey, how's it going guys? Arcane Hulk here today, and it has been a while now, hasn't it? Right here, this guy just uses Sun Singer, so I toss over Suppression Grenade, and goodbye. No super for you, sir. <laughs> it's the best thing for Sun Singers for anything, really. Shut down a Gold Gun, shut down a Blade Dancer, you can stop a Titan's Fist of Havoc in midair. If you're a Titan, use Suppression Grenades. It, they're a bit harder to use, they don't do too much damage, but they're fun. They stop the enemy from double jumping and stuff like that. But I just want to talk to you guys about mm, whatever, really. There's nothing I... I don't have, like, a script or anything today. But, uh, No Land Beyond has been my weapon of choice for a while now, for the past couple weeks. I haven't been playing too much PvE at all. I attempted to do Crota, but I just... I got frustrated. There was just so much stuff that I was just screwing up, and I really didn't want to deal with it. So I just kind of quit on that and just went to play some more PvP. But No Land Beyond is absolute blast to use. That and the Necrochasm. This game is so much more fun when you don't take it seriously. Because for since the game came out, I've just been grinding so hard at it, trying to make my character the absolute best. And I think the stats that I have now are going to be pretty much the best stats that I can get. Because grinding for 2% more intellect and 3% more discipline and even less in some cases, it just doesn't really seem worth it anymore. This game is just a ton of fun to play. That's what I do now. I just play the game. I don't grind for anything. I don't look for anything. Luckily, I have all the exotics, so I don't have to look for anything like that. But, you know, I just get on. I enjoy the gunplay. I enjoy the way the guns handle. I enjoy the movement speed, just mastering my character and how I control it. It's just a breath of fresh air, really, because... I don't, it feels like there's not, there's no pressure. There's no pressure to try to get through the raid. No one's telling you, okay, we got to do this. It's not hardcore. Just hop into some friendly games of Crucible and you'll be just fine. Now, if you're going to play something like Skirmish or Inferno Clash, then definitely you're going to want to put a team together because those are generally more serious game modes. I was running some randoms with this Skirmish game and we managed to win, even though I was using No Land Beyond, so that's always exciting. But that's besides the point. I just want to talk to you guys about just having fun with the game. Just don't take it seriously. Stop waiting for House of Wolves and just let it come. Don't focus on anything. Yes, it's good to be prepared, but being prepared also makes the game ultra boring. So a lot of people, what they're trying to do is they're trying to edge out all of their factions, which is getting them as close to leveling up as possible. So that way, as soon as House of Wolves comes out, they can just turn in all their bounties and collect everything right away and become the next max level. If that works. It's still unconfirmed about whether or not it will work. We'll have to wait until the DLC drops to find out. And don't don't turn the game into a chore. Don't do that. Because that's really what makes the game get boring. That's what the source of all the burnout is. People enjoy this game. But too many people are grinding too hard for certain things. You just have to realize that some, you're not always going to get your Galhorn. You're not going to get a Hawkmoon all the time. It's all RNG. There's no point in playing for endless, endless hours just so you can have that small fraction of a chance to get something. Because 99.999999993141416% of the time, you're not. it's not going to be worth it at all. Just wait for the nightfalls. Do those. Those are your best chances. The raid chests, of course. You know, ear you spawns, all that. Just make sure you're playing the game for fun. You won't get burnt out as much. You'll enjoy yourself while you play it. And I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but when I play sometimes and I'm trying really hard, you know, if I'm doing the raid, we're going hard and everything, and mistakes, just because just because I've done the raid so many times, just any type of mistake just gets on my nerves, whether it's, I, whether it's me who makes it personally or whether it's one of my teammates who do it, I just get absolutely irritated just from little things like that and it was just ruining the experience for me like i said i don't know if you guys are the same way that's just me when it comes to doing something over and over again i'm kind of a perfectionist if i've been playing something if i've been doing this for hundreds and thousands of hours i feel that i should be able to do it without a hitch just absolutely perfect every single time and of course no one is perfect no one can possibly do that but it's you know that's just my personality i don't know if you guys are the same way but basically what i'm just trying to say again is Enjoy the game, enjoy the mechanics, enjoy the fun that it has. Don't try to grind, that will absolutely ruin it for you. Just accept the fact that sometimes the game is a bit unfair and you're just going to have to live with it. Just don't think about it, don't take it to heart. Yeah, it sucks to have 1,200 hours played and no Galahorn, but 
you know, you're a better player for it. If you can get through things without a crutch weapon like that, then you're generally a better player than most people. Generally. I'm not saying people who use Gallahorn suck, but a lot of kids have it, really do rely on it too much. That's it for the video today, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will have more of these out more regularly like I used to. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you for watching, and y'all have a nice day.